Step one, we admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives have become unmanageable. Page 30. We learned that we had to fully concede to our innermost selves that we're alcoholics. Do you fully concede to your innermost self that you're an alcoholic? Yes. Step two, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Page 47, we need to ask ourselves but one short question. Do I now believe or am I even willing to believe that there is a power greater than myself? Do I now believe or am I even willing to believe that there is a power greater than myself? Yes. Step three, made the decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. Page 60, our description of the alcoholic, the chapter to agnostic, and our personal ventures make, uh, personal ventures before and after make clear three pertinent ideas. A, that we're alcoholic and could not manage our own lives. B, that probably no human power could have relieved our alcoholism. And C, that God could and would if he were sought. Being convinced, we are on step three, which is that we decided to turn our will and our life over to the care of God as we understood him. Are you convinced of the three pertinent ideas, A, B, and C? A, that we're alcoholic and could not manage our own lives. B, that probably no human power could have relieved our alcoholism. And C, that God could and would if he were sought. Yes. The first requirement is that we be convinced that any life run on self-will can hardly be a success. AA page 60. Are you convinced that any life run on self-will can hardly be a success? Yes. Page 62. First of all, we had to quit playing God. Will you quit playing God? Yes. Page 63. We're now at step three. We found, found it very desirable to take this spiritual step with an understanding person, such as our wife, best friend, or spiritual advisor. It's better to meet God alone than one who might un misunderstand. The wording, of course, the wording was, of course, quite optional so long as we expressed the idea, voicing it without reservation. This is only a beginning, though it honestly and humbly made, and in fact, sometimes a very great one, was felt at once. When we sincerely took such a position, all sorts of remarkable things followed. We had a new employer. Being all-powerful, he provided what we needed if we kept close to him and performed his work well. Established on such a footing, we became less and less interested in ourselves, our little plans and designs. More and more, we became interested in seeing what we could contribute to life. As we felt new power flow in, as we enjoyed peace of mind, as we discovered we could face life successfully as we became conscious of his presence we began to lose our fear of today tomorrow and the hereafter we were reborn
You are now at step three. Many of us said to our maker as we understood him. God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and to do with me as I will. Relieve me of the bondage of self that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties that victory over them may bear witness to those I would help of thy power, thy love, and thy way of life. May I do thy will always. Thank you. You have taken steps one, two, and three. You have surrendered to alcohol and the will of God of your understanding. 